We're going to explain data governance to the CEO. Hi, I'm Isaac Sokolik or NY Ike on Twitter. And in this episode, I'm going to carry over from episode 32, where I explain the role of chief data officers. And in this episode, we're going to go through three different ways to explain data governance to the board, to CEOs, and to other business executives who are trying to understand how to become a data-driven organization. I'm going to share three different ways to explain this concept so that you can not only win over their minds, but then get them on board with the program. Let's get started. So the first thing I want to make sure we understand is that data driven organizations require a common vocabulary. So let's start by you and I understanding what I mean by proactive data governance. And there's two sides to it. There's what I call the classic data governance, where I'm putting policies in place. I'm saying who gets access to information. I'm building data catalogs and data dictionaries out so that folks understand how they're building analytics and reports and dashboards. They understand what a date means. They understand what a dollar means and that there's accuracy in their reporting. I'm also concerned in data governance about data operations, and that gets into everything from security to how we're building master data sources to how we're constantly and iteratively improving data quality. So the first way to explain data governance to the CEO is that if you're going to become a data-driven organization, you need a common vocabulary so that people understand what different elements mean of your data sets and how to build accurate and reliable data repositories and analytics off of them. Now, the second way to explain data governance to the CEO and business leaders is through the lens of risk and cost. And every one of them knows about the use of spreadsheets in your organization for reporting. What they probably don't really understand is the cost around it. $60 billion in the U.S. alone being used to keep spreadsheets updated and the manual hours it takes to keep the data updated when there's updated data sources and reporting done manually. Now, spreadsheets aren't bad. They are error prone. They are costly to support. But the biggest issue is when we rolled out spreadsheets in our organization, there was no governance model. There was nobody saying how to version a spreadsheet, what happens when a spreadsheet becomes operational in nature. And that's, in fact, the problem that we're trying to solve today with data governance. We're trying to put some process in place so that we know when data is used for analytics, for decision making and machine learning experimentation, there's a process and a back office underneath it to support it. We'll talk more about that in the third reason why how data governance can be explained to the CEO. You know, the third way to explain data governance to the CEO and business leaders is through the lens of becoming a data driven organization. And I akin it to the back office of those functions, right? How do we promote and enable citizen data science? How do we enable more democratized data driven decisions? And that really, how do we grow talent? And that's not going to be done by hiring just PhDs to run machine learning and advanced data science programs. That's really going to be about taking the spreadsheets that we were building five, 10 years ago and building it through data visualization tools and other analytics tools. And that's not going to happen without a back office that has data ops, integrated sources, sourcing and automation built into how you bring data into the organization without data quality in place, without master data sources, and without governing who gets access to what data sources. So that's really the third angle of explaining data governance to the CEO is really about growing talent and promoting a data-driven organization. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Five Minutes with NY Ike. Please sign up to my newsletter at the URL that you see, starcio.com slash 5NYIke slash EP37. We have an entire program for citizen data science and data governance. We call it our Star CIO a center of excellence for data driven organizations and please reach out to star cio if you're interested in this program thanks for watching again and we'll have another episode of five minutes with ny ike in a couple of weeks have a great day